Steve, this is uh, some new technology that we've got on show here on this Quasar machine. What, what's different on this MT machine compared to a normal 5-axis? So we've done a lot on our, uh, our generic 5-axis, the MF range, which is our full 5-axis machine. Um, what we've got now is a, a, a mill turn. So we've got a 5-axis milling machine with turning capability. And, and how fast can you turn? How, how quick will the table go? So obviously it's the rotary table and that, that can go at uh, 1200 RPM. Is there, a lot, is, there, is there a demand for this type of uh, technology? I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't have produced it if there isn't, but we do see quite a few machines like this coming out now. Who's going to buy it? Well, it's, it's generic to the part itself, really. I mean, from the whole of ETG, um, we have mill turn and turn mill. Um, this option here is obviously giving it for a generic, to stop it going onto a, a turning machine for a general boring cycle, facing cycle, or an overturning function. What, what, what about the Quasar machine as a, as, as a brand and as a machine tool itself? Is it, where, does it, where does it fit amongst all its competitors and peers? It's right at the top. We, 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 we market it as one of our premium products, so classed it as, as Quasar Bridgeport. It's a sleeping giant for us. And what, what makes it that, though? What, what's good about the machine? The quality is Quasar only produce milling machines, horizontals, you've seen the APC earlier, um, five axis, that's what they concentrate on. Constantly, every year, there will be a new product being launched. They're a very, very, very forward thinking company. Uh, well, well, fr from your perspective then, when you're kind of pitching or talking to a potential customer about a project and a solution, and the Quasar comes into it, what, what do you push? Do you push the way the machine's built? Do you push the spindle? Do you push the, 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 the working? What, what, you know, what's good? It's more ETG, to be honest, Paul. The, obviously, the, the machine side of it, when people start looking at a machine, oh, we've got a meter in X, we've got 500 in Y, we've got so much in Z, it's just numbers. What we offer is the project, is the full service and backup and support. Is it a powerful machine? What's, what sort of spindle you got? So we've got a Maxia spindle in this one, so 12K. Um, so very op various options from the Maxia range within our spindle configuration, and this is 32 kilowatt. So a direct drive? Yes. And what, what size is the, uh, the, the tool changer on this? How many tools can you get? So we've got 48 tools, but again, we have a, a variance um, all the way up to 120. Okay, okay. And is there any limit? Well, there would be limitations, obviously. How, how big a part can you get on this machine, Steve? So this is the MT400, so the 400 denotes the swing size between, between the cheeks. Um, so that, that, that encompasses the whole, the whole scope. And I'm sensing from this then there's a bigger model as well, is there? This, the MT400 isn't the only one in the range. Yeah, that, that, will, that will follow. So generally, um, we always start with a 400 range, as we did with the APC earlier. Then we work through the 500 through to the 630. I see a lot of, or the majority of your machines with the Heidenhain control, but what, what caught my eye here is this is a Siemens. There's quite a big screen on that as well. Yeah, so we've got basically on uh, some new technology um, come out from Quasar um, is the mapping of the machine. So we've got a production suite built in there. Okay, um, Obviously the most common control in the UK for us is, is, is Heidenheim. Um, and obviously what we have here is a Siemens variant as well. So is it as good as a Heidenheim? Yeah, yeah. The, the, Basically, when you, when you ever speak to an operator or a programmer, they always have their own, their own preference, um, but the Siemens and Hardenheim is, is, is both the conversational element, so it's asking the customer the questions. So you've got, a tech, you've got a highly advanced technical solution supported by a company that knows exactly uh, how to, to turnkey projects. Exactly, yeah. We are, we're a solution provider. It's what we, what we do best. We take people's problems.